Okay, the first word today is terrain. Terrain. Uh, which is the actual physical land of a place, the geography of the land. Um, how the land looks is what kind of terrain it is. So, uh, Korea and Seoul, uh, the terrain is often described as very rocky and mountainous. Lots of mountains uh, in Seoul, as terrain goes. Um, he talks about the terrain in Pittsburgh mm -hmm. in the video. And he says there's a lot of like little places for people to hide and uh, homeless people. He says you'd be surprised where you find some homeless people in this terrain, mm -hmm. like this kind of terrain. So terrain, just the physical lay of the land, how the land is looking. Um, the second word is outreach. Maybe you've heard of outreach programs or things like that. Um, these are like programs that usually have a social angle, uh, trying to help people, um, like <clears throat> soup kitchens, uh, or giving food at the subway station is a kind of outreach, maybe. Um. This street doctor in the video, his whole program is kind a kind of outreach, um, and this is used as a noun. Um, yeah, so outreach is kind of just like some kind of activity or organization that's going to help the community. They're trying to help the people all around. Um, yeah, that's that's a kind of outreach. Is this common or? Oh yeah, absolutely, definitely. What is different from volunteer? Similar? Very similar. Um, right. Volunteer work, outreach work, kind of synonymous, the same meaning. Number three is pacer, which I think he uses just as a kind of shortened version of a pacemaker, um, which is an artificial heart. When someone's heart is you know, pretty much done for, they get a, uh, a heart that, like, pumps for them in their chest, and, uh, this is called a pacemaker. Um, in the video, he's talking to the man in the tent who, uh, is having some problem with his pacemaker, so he asks him, like, oh, how's your pacer doing, or what's wrong with your pacer, your pacemaker? Um, right. Number four is to hunt or hunt. Um, people are, are haunted or something. They feel like anxiety or like something is troubling them, but like won't go away. You can almost think of like a ghost haunts people, right? It follows them around and scares them all the time or a haunted house, like that kind of thing. It's the same thing. Um, if you're haunted by something, it's something that follows you and gives you worry and distress. Um, it could be like a memory. If you've had a really tragic memory, like someone who maybe had a car accident and they were driving and killed a person in the car, they might be haunted by this memory. Their whole life they think about this memory and have guilt and anxiety because of it. Uh, in the video, the doctor mentions going home and uh, the memory that haunts him uh, about the people on the street. So it's like a feeling or a memory or something that follows him. What about hunt? In the expression, hunt you down. Ah, well that's hunt, H-U-N-T, uh, which is a little different. Um, hunting and haunt. Mm -hmm. Pronunciation is very similar. Hunt and hunt. So usually you could read the subjective kind of thing and think haunt you even though the objective is a person. Mm -hmm. So usually if it's not used as a passive form. No. Although, yeah, right, 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 right. Someone could be haunted by... Uh, yeah, haunted by their past, haunted by their, yeah, memories. So, right, right. 
Okay. Sense of humor. Um, I think when we went around talking about uh, what qualities we like in like a man or a woman, most people, or a few of you maybe said sense of humor is really important. And that's kind of just like the ability to joke and laugh and understand jokes and appreciate things that are funny. Um, so if you've ever met someone with no sense of humor, uh, yeah, they're really boring, right? Mm -hmm. And you, you can't joke with them, and they're always serious, and they're not fun to be around. So when they do questions about the opposite sex, what quality do you like the most, I think the number one answer is usually sense of humor. Because if you're on a date, yeah, you want to be able to joke with someone and have fun and smile, that kind of thing. So, sense of humor. Can I insert other word instead of humor, like sense of direction? Yes, it, yeah, good point. Sense of direction. Someone whose sense of direction is good, right. How about other common expression using sense of? Hmm. Sense of sense of sense of direction, sense of humor, sense of oof. Sense of yeah, someone could have a sense of responsibility when they yeah when they take on new roles. Um I'll get back to you on that. Okay. Let me think about that. That's a good question though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sense of wit and Usually just that goes with sense of humor. Okay. Yeah, definitely I'll think of more of those. Because there are some. Uh, quickly, though, the last word is the take-home message. Take-home message is exactly how it sounds. Uh, the message that you're going to go home and you can remember and think about. It's the main message of a piece of information that you learn. At the end of the video, the doctor says, um, Dr. Withers says, like, okay, the take-home message here is that human beings matter, right? Or that these people matter as a human being. So when you watch this video, that's the take-home message. If you remember one thing from the video, uh, remember that message, that people matter as human beings. He Key learning. Um, hmm. Key learning sounds a little awkward. Mm -hmm. uh, where where have you heard key learning? Um, when I uh, review some presentation mm -hmm. and the title of some slide. Uh, at the end of the. Uh, Yeah, I suppose it could be similar, although I've never heard key learning. Um, yeah, take away message or something, take home message. The, right, just the kind of the thesis, basically. Yeah, I also heard the take home message several times when they finally uh, when they finish their presentation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take home message. Mm -hmm. Right. Assignment. Take home assignment. Homework. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no, no. My dictionary says take home means assignment. It's like assignment. Well, homework. that sounds like a yeah. That sounds like a teacher giving you an assignment to take home, right? Um, that's just another use of take home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So any other questions about these words? Yeah, take home test.